What's up guys, Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to update from iOS 7 beta to the official iOS 7. Uh, now I've had a lot of people asking me on how to do this, so I decided to make a video on it. For those of you that are on iOS 6 and you have not updated yet, you can simply open up iTunes and then do check for updates and update that way, or even within your settings application, you can update OTA. Now, for those of you, like I said, that are on the iOS 7 beta, it's not going to recognize that, you know, you need to update from that. You need to manually do it. So uh, even right here, it says iOS 7. This is iOS 7 GM. It does not recognize it just because it's reading that it's iOS 7. Even, even in the settings application of your device, it's just not going to recognize it. So the first thing you guys are going to need to do, and this is just the way I like to do it. You can do this in kind of different ways, but I'd recommend doing it this way. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is download... Uh, the actual firmware file itself, you can do that right here at Everything iDevice. I'll leave the link in the description. So just select whether you have an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. I have the iPhone 5. And then you go down and I have iPhone 5 GSM and then right here is iOS 7.0. So I've already downloaded that. It only takes just a couple minutes and then we can minimize that. And once you, it's downloaded, go ahead and put it on your desktop. It makes it easier to find. As you can see, there is my firmware right there. Now, before we restore to the official iOS 7 firmware, you're going to want to back up your device. If you don't back it up, you're going to lose everything. Photos, applications, uh, videos, you're, you'll lose everything if you don't back up. Now, I've already backed up my device. I'm going to show you how to, I like to do it. You can either do it to iCloud, but I like doing it on my computer. I like actually, you know, having that file, that backup file at hand. So I click on... Uh, this computer, I even encrypted it, which allows you to set a passcode for that backup. And then you just click on backup now. Uh, now, depending on, you know, how much data you have on your device, it varies in time. It's probably going to be about five minutes. So after you've done that, you still need to back up your applications. Like I said, this is only for the data. This is not the actual apps. Now, the way you back up your applications and all the data within your applications is you go up to file, you go to devices, and then you do transfer purchases from your device. So go ahead and select on that. Again, that will take probably five to 10 minutes, depending on how many applications you have on your device. Uh, now, once that is done, you are fully backed up and ready to go. And you can check to make sure you do have the uh, the backup file by going into preferences of iTunes and then as you can see right here I actually have two backups right there so my backups are there so they are good to go now this is where we're gonna restore to iOS 7 uh, on a Mac all you gotta do is hold the option key on Windows you hold the shift key and then you click on restore iPhone and it's gonna bring up this window and it's gonna allow you to browse for your firmware file so I'm gonna go ahead and select mine click open iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 7 and will verify, blah, 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 restore. And this part, I'm going to go ahead and speed up for you guys. All right, my device is finally done restoring and it's booted back up here. And now you will be immediately prompted with the option of restore from this backup, whichever backup you'd like to use. If you have multiple backup, uh, obviously do the most current one. And this is basically going to install all of the apps and all of the data back on your device. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And I have to put in my password because it is encrypted. Whoops. There we mess that up. Okay. And now it's going to restore from the backup, and this will take a minute as well. So I'm going to go ahead and speed it up once again for you guys. So there you go. My device has restarted once again, and now it's going to go through the full syncing process of transferring all of the data and apps back onto my device. Uh, as you can see, the kind of memory bar down here will fill back up with all the stuff that I did have before I started this restore. And again, that is how you update from iOS 7 beta to the official iOS 7.0. And again, like I said, if you don't back up anything, you will lose everything. Uh, so again, if you guys enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial on how to update to the official iOS 7, make sure you throw me that thumbs up. That will help me out tremendously. Also, if you guys want to see more tutorials like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Later.